Hi, I'm Rachel Russell. You probably see me in my narcolepsy video to raise awareness. Well, today I'm going to talk about my other disorder called fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a disorder in which you feel muscular pain pretty much all over your body. Some places hurt more than others, like for me, my legs hurt worse than my arms, per se. But it feels kind of like the pain of a Charlie horse most all the time. A lot like arthritis, I'm like an achy old lady in a younger woman's body. My body doesn't feel young at all, but I don't look old yet. Fibromyalgia makes you feel weak and not with much energy most of the time. It's pretty much like as if someone just took all my energy and be it feels like uh, I've been beaten from the inside a lot of times. My medications do help numb the pain. It's difficult to continue to get them. A lot of times the doctors are the, are afraid that it will cause me to be drowsy, but Honestly, I'd rather kill myself than be in the pain of the fibromyalgia because it is, it feels as if you've done bench pressed a thousand pounds and you've pulled almost every muscle in your body, especially your, your hamstrings, your biceps, your calves. It hurts. But fibromyalgia awareness day is coming up. It's May 12th, this Saturday, the day before Mother's Day. And I encourage you to wear purple, the color of fibromyalgia awareness. Just something to let you know that it's estimated that 2% of the United States population, the majority of women, we don't know why, have fibromyalgia. They've recently discovered that there's a shortage of dopamine in the brains of people with fibromyalgia, a chemical that's, that helps with regulating pain reception and for feeling well, being, and good, that we have a shortage of. There's a lot greater medical knowledge now that it is a true disorder and it's not a figment of our imaginations. I'm out there to raise awareness about both narcolepsy and fibromyalgia. I'm not out there to get fame. I'm not out there for money. I'm out there to change the world's perception of persons with disabilities, to make it a better world. I'm not ashamed that I had narcolepsy or fibromyalgia. It just happened to me. It just came about as if I'm the victim, and I've always felt that way. I'm not lazy. I've tried so many different things. And finally, I am finding some success and joy in selling Avon and providing great customer service to people who want to look and smell great. I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's really helped me feel better about myself. So anything to help us with the rent, the mortgage, the food, because it's a tough world out there. I don't have to tell y'all that, but also live with this or something else, like cerebral palsy or multiple sclerosis. I don't have to tell you that. But narcolepsy and fibromyalgia have drastically crippled my life of what I dreamed I would be back in college. But it's taught me to value life and to slow down. And though, hey, it's people that matter. And you need to get your message out. That the government and society need to do more to help us because Social Security will not help me anymore. I don't have enough chance to get enough work credits to get the Social Security disability insurance. And even though we can't pay the bills or afford food, much less my 
prescriptions were always behind on so many things. They won't help me with SSI or Medicaid. But I tell you what, if it's up to me, there'll be something for people who are disabled and young and fighting with Social Security. Because we didn't choose this life. And we don't deserve to die. We deserve to live just as much as the so senior citizens deserve dignity and social services, so do we. I'm working as much as I can, even though Social Security has deemed me unable to work physically, unable to drive. But I am trying and finding some success and so much joy in being your sleepy Avon lady that maybe with Avon there is something for me. Whereas everyone else is like, no, we don't want to hire you because your narcolepsy would interfere with the job. I just want to tell everyone thank you for watching my videos and that I appreciate those of you who write intellectually sound, polite responses. I don't care if you don't agree with me, but don't write nasty things that have nothing to do with it. Have a great day, y'all. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.